So if you plan on living in the home that you're remodeling or going to remodel, here's a few things I wanna let you know before you get into the process, just so you can kind of expect what's gonna come of it. I am also in the process of remodeling a home and here's a few things that I've learned while living in a remodel. Number one, if you are going to remove your floors and you are not going to replace them immediately, concrete gets very dusty. I mean very dusty it's very hard to keep clean oh, it's gonna get all over your clothes it's gonna be all over your shoes you're gonna track it into your car and into your friends houses concrete's dusty and dirty number two you're gonna go through a ton of air conditioning filters I mean a ton it's best to just shut your AC unit off if you're going to do any sort of sanding or painting or busting up tile or even sweeping because these things are gonna get clogged really really quick especially if you have the thin ones like I do which are 16 by 20 by ones now if you've watched any HGTV series or any sort of home remodeling show um, they've been lying to you because it is not as fast as you think it is obviously we all know that behind the scenes there's probably a crew of two or three dozen people doing a bunch of work and getting the project taken care of Another thing is that they don't always tell us how much everything costs. I want you to understand that one of the main issues with living in a remodel is it always takes longer and costs more than you think. I personally thought I would be able to knock this out in like a year and we're going on year two and I just moved in due to concerns about the house's security since we're getting pretty close to being done. We're waiting on what feels like a ton of stuff, but it's really not that much at this point. We're still making strides and we're making progress daily on getting the house taken care of. Got to get like a ceiling fan and there's, there's a lot of stuff. And there's a ton of little things that we all tend to overlook when doing a project like this. And then you stumble across them and go, oh, I need to do that. And that's just one extra task on the list. So be careful when you're watching HGTV because it is probably the biggest false senses of security when it comes to remodeling a home. When you're remodeling a home and living in it, it doesn't really feel like home. It feels more like a construction site, which I feel comfortable in, mainly because I grew up in a family that did a ton of construction. Is it as comfortable as if it was fully done? Of course not, obviously. One last thing is you're catching some glimpses of my unfinished home. It's always gonna cost more and take longer than you think it will. I don't care what they quote you. I don't care how long they tell you it's gonna take. If you're doing the work, you're on a probably a strict budget just like me. And it's definitely gonna take longer than you want it to and longer than you think it's going to. And it will cost more because there's always that one little thing, oh, I forgot that I also have to buy new outlets or I have to buy new switches or I forgot this ceiling fan up here, right there. Things like that. With that in mind, you really need to understand that it's a project, it takes time, it's not gonna be done in a day. And it, this isn't an HGTV show where a, they compress months of work into an hour long video. Be careful when you're watching home improvement shows Understand that all of your stuff is going to be really, really dirty most of the time. And just make sure that you're okay with how long it's possibly going to take. And if they tell you a month, plan on it being two. The last thing is it's always gonna cost more, so keep that in mind. But if you're willing to do it and you have the motivation to do it, I think most people can do this. It's not for everybody. Would I recommend living in basically a construction site? Um, no, but I like it because I finally get to stay in my home, I'm out on my own, and it allows me to get more projects done because I get to sleep here. So, with that being said, if you're doing a remodel, stay focused, stay motivated, and just get it done. You got this.